Hey everyone and welcome to another SEO tutorial. This is about a new feature, a new opportunity for you that's inside of Google My Business. So here's an example how it's displayed to the public, right? Inside of Google Maps, when you do a search for a business and you see the business listing come up, right? inside of products, there's a new thing that says explore categories. So inside of Google My Business, you can create a category for these different products to fit into. Right, so here's the example from product posts, keyword research, website, and custom map creation. Now you can create these to have the exact wording in it that you want. Right? That may be helpful because of SEO and ranking. Let's say that someone searches for this exact phrase, it's a lot better chance that they will see your listing, that Google will put you higher in the search results. Let's go take a look at how it displays on Google search as opposed to Google Maps. Here we are inside of just a regular old Google search and we see a business listing and this business listing again shows those same things, the explore categories. And again, we've created these. Let's go over to Google My Business and see how this is created so you can do it for yourself. Okay, here we are inside of Google My Business and I'll put a link below. Inside of Google My Business, if you click over here on posts, you'll be able to get to this page. Now, you may also see down here where it says products, and I'll click on that real quickly. Now, this may not be available for you. As Google is rolling this out, and some companies will be allowed, and others, it may not make as much sense. But if this is in here, you can always try to come up here again to posts. Either way, will get you to the same creation point. Okay, We'll take you in the easiest way. So, Click on posts, come up here to add product. When you do, you'll see there's all these things. And the key part for this, where it says select category, we're gonna click this drop down and instead say create a new category. It now gives us the box. And this is where we can put in that text. Like for us, we put in keyword research or website analysis. We can put that category in. Of course, we'd have to add the photos, the product names, uh, the product price is optional. A description we can add a button right from an SEO standpoint we also want to pick some button that goes to our website that way we have an external link that goes back to our site okay. once all that's filled out you simply click publish and that will uh, create that new section I'll next show you how these look when you've added a couple just to save time okay, we'll come over here to products now we come inside of here we see right we created this category name and again website and custom map creation just like we saw in those results All right and of course we can edit those and we can add another product to any category that we want simply by clicking add product All right here we go same type of thing all the same information it's just another way to get there it does require a product photo right of course and a name the price is optional right and when you're done click save so let's go back out to the public and see how this looks. Okay, so again, here we are back out inside of Google Maps, and we also see this inside of Google Search. Right, remember those things you made from product posts? That's what Google puts up itself, but now we have the options, keyword research, website, custom map creation. Of course, you would want to build these categories and put all your products in that you can possibly have. That way that you have a better chance of ranking higher, like in the pack three go take a look at how that is displayed okay and just as a generic search so that we didn't get any particular business in here I went ahead and did post office New York right underneath the map comes these three business listings and these three business listings could be something just like for your business of course whatever product or service you have in the town that you're in and having Google my business filled out completely We'll go back in and take a look at Google My Business. Now, it's very important to fill this out completely. And, and just for the shortness of this video, sake, we won't go through it all. But it's very important. And you will see at the end of this video, we have a playlist for more Google My Business videos inside of BT Foom, where you can come in and learn some more tutorials about Google My Business and how many of these works, right? Your reviews, messaging, photos, product services, uh, the users being able to manage these type of things. Right? I hope this is helpful in showing you how to create new categories so that your potential customers can come to your site, can find you, you can increase your reach, your SEO, and your ranking. 
come on over to btfoom.com. If you like, you can always come to the contact page and request a membership to get even more in-depth member tutorials. Stay up to date, be informed, and be educated about everything SEO and web presence. Thanks, and I hope this helps. Click the subscribe button. Thank you.